So risk tools are really important because clinicians have to decide among treatment strategies. And many of these strategies have both benef potential benefits and risks. So we need a tool that helps to balance that risk and benefit and to improve treatment and to improve the adherence to guidelines. So many of us ask ourselves, why do we need yet another risk predictor in atrial fibrillation when we have tools like CHADS VASC that is widely used? And the answer is CHADS VASC is widely used, but it only predicts stroke risk and it's not very powerful in terms of those at the lower risk end of the spectrum. But the big deficiency is that we don't have a single tool that combines the prediction of death, of stroke and of bleeding in one calculation. And the reason we need it is that we have a gap between treatment and evidence. And this gap is such that patients who are at low risk are quite often treated uh, beyond what is recommended in the guidelines and many of the high stroke risk patients are not currently being treated internationally because bleeding risk is overestimated. Garfield is exceptionally well placed because first it's based on a robust prospective registry of new onset atrial fibrillation. So this is comprehensive it's across 35 countries and more than a thousand centers. So firstly, the data set is large and representative. Secondly, it's been tested externally in separate data sets. So we know that the findings are reliable and externally applicable. And this gives us a tool that works across the spectrum of risk. And it does so using continuous variables where some of the previous tools have simply been binary variables, and therefore less accurate. What it allows the clinician to do is to enter, within about 30 seconds, key parameters of the patient. And these parameters are recorded, and then we get a readout. And the readout shows what the risks are, either over a year or over two years. But very importantly, it gives the risks of death, of stroke and of bleeding in a single calculation. And therefore, we can best estimate whether this patient would benefit from an intervention like uh, anticoagulation, because Garfield AF has been tested both in anticoagulated and in non-anticoagulated patients. So clinicians can access this Garfield AF calculator Firstly, by going to the Garfield website, where it's freely available. Also by independent uh, sites like the QXMD uh, site, where the clinicians can then download it and use it freely. And our key aim is to make this available and address the gap between evidence and practice by allowing the clinician to balance bleeding risk and stroke risk.